My name is Mark and you've landed on the Modern Rural Civilian Channel. I'm a modern day homesteader and DIY builder obsessed with self-sufficient living and off-grid capable backup systems. The pump house that you see behind me is a dedicated ram pump pump house that will allow this pump to service our homestead property and deliver water without the use of electricity or fuel through four seasons of Idaho weather. I'm extremely excited about this project. It's one of the most life-changing projects that we've completed here on the homestead to date. And actually it's one of the first four season hydraulic ram pump driven mountain spring fed water systems that I've ever seen on the internet. This is the new pressure gauge that I'm gonna be installing onto the ram pump. One of my commenters told me to try a liquid filled pressure gauge because the ram pump has a water hammer effect and it's constantly abusing the pressure gauge. The needle is jumping anywhere from 35 to 55 PSI constantly, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And this is a new style pressure gauge that I'd never heard of or seen before that is glycerin filled. So it should dampen the needles bouncing effect and hopefully this will last a lot longer than a traditional Additional pressure gauge. So let's get to work and I'll show you what I've got to do. Okay, this is the drive pipe. I've just shut off the drive pipe to eliminate any water flow to now entering into the ram pump. And this is the delivery pipe. This delivery pipe is 600 linear feet long. It's buried four feet underground and it travels up our mountain homestead property 100 feet in elevation rise to pump water into a 2,000 gallon concrete buried water cistern which then gravity feeds our entire homestead property. So this is definitely the beating part of our off-grid capable homestead water system. It's all gravity fed once this water reaches the top of our property. This is the new gauge and as you can see there is a thick clear liquid with inside the gauge panel itself. The system is in bypass mode right now so all of the fresh mountain spring water that runs out of our mountain flowing out this overflow and exiting the system and re-entering the mountain where the water comes from to begin with. Let me put you in time lapse and we'll change out this pressure gauge. All right, you guys, now we've got the new liquid filled zero to 100 PSI pressure gauge installed on the ram pump. Now we're just going to take the system out of bypass mode, let the pressure tank fill back up with water, which will then allow the ram pump to cycle completely on its own indefinitely. Turn this delivery line back on. Let's turn the drive pipe back on and in order to get the ram pump cycling you've got to manually begin to cycle this swing check valve. What I'm doing right now is just holding the valve open to eliminate any air pockets in the drive pipe. You can hear that uneven rhythm to the actual cycling of the pump and that means that there's some air trapped in the system.
It's always fun working on the ramp pump. You usually get a shot of fresh mountain spring water straight to the dome. But now you can hear the ramp pump is cycling to a standard rhythmic beat. If you guys like this off-grid hydraulic ram pump content, I will be filming lots more of the entire off-grid capable mountain spring-fed gravity homestead water system. Plenty more to come, so you guys subscribe, drop me a comment, ask your questions. I'm happy to try to help you.